Hello friends, so today I'm going to show you this surprisingly simple blues sound from Red Garland. So we're going to start with the left hand, just with standard, uh, like an open blues voicing. So this is third, flatted seventh, and then like the thirteenth. So I have a, another video with deeper dive into this left hand here, but if, if you just got that and that, you're going to be good. And then I'm going to do a little... Uh, turnaround stuff later. Uh, again, I have another in-depth video on that. I'll, I'll show it to you, uh, but if you want more information on that, I have kind of a deeper dive in, into how that works and why the chords work the way they do. So anyway, this Red Garland sound, it's, uh, if you think about the blues scale, so we're in F, and then we're just going to play blues scale with octaves. So if you can you can manage that you you can get it. Uh, so the sound that kind of thing. So pretty nice sound. This you could do it up an octave. That kind of thing. Okay, so you can really noodle around any chords, any of the blues chords in the form. So uh, we do a good turnaround. You could come down the blues scale in these octaves. All right, I did uh, three, six, two, five, one. All right, around the whole circle of fifths, like the uh, last two measures of a blues. So again. Okay, I just worked my way down. Worked my way down the blues scale, coming down in octaves. So the variation of this it makes it sound even a little crunchier. You can add the middle note here. So listen to this here. I could just do that same lick and add, add fifths here. Ah! Okay, uh, a little rough, but the, the idea is I'm adding notes. I'm not just adding just random notes. I'm going to pick a note from the, the blues scale or kind of works with the chord. So uh, not being too methodical about it. That's nice, right? So you end up with some nice crunchy stuff. Yeah, this was... Some nice crunchy stuff with that extra note in the middle. So you can get away with, you hear Oscar Peterson do this kind of thing. Uh, you can just do a chorus of. It gives you a nice sound that's pretty easy to pull off. You just camp out on this nice open sound. So general rule of thumb, you're going to keep these voicings around this range on the keyboard. Don't really stray from this. And you can pretty much go as high as you want with these octaves. Uh, kind of gone further than you can see on the keyboard. But you can go really high on these. It gives it a nice kind of open, spacious sound. So there you have it, a pretty simple technique to pull off a noodle around octaves or octaves plus the fifth on the blues scale while changing the chords underneath uh, on the blues form. So happy practicing.